you know, on the court, obviously I'm competitive. I want, I wanted those guys back, but if the feeling's not mutual, you know, we can, we are going to continue to keep going and moving forward. And um, we don't want to bring anybody along that doesn't want to be a part of Tennessee basketball and doesn't want to um, go through those, those ups and downs. And, and, you know, we really put a lot into these fans and a lot into these guys and the people who support Tennessee. So if you're not going to give your full heart and your full effort into it, then I think it is best that you, you know, go your separate ways and you go where you want to be, um, where you feel is best for you. How crazy is it being a player in, in this era in terms of what you're hearing from people? You should do this, you should do that, and all those types of things. Um, I think it's 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 honestly it's kind of crazy. You know, it, it's it's a new world we live in, in in college basketball, and it's something that everybody has to get used to. Um, it kind of feels like the free agency with <laughs> the NBA. Just how many people are getting, you know, tugged t certain ways, getting influenced certain ways, um, being promised certain things, you know, you know, being, uh, you know, fed dreams that, that they have towards other teams. And it's really, it's it's unique, but it's I feel like it's hard for a lot of players, especially players that are younger um, and that are influenced by a lot of different things. Um, so that's why I can't blame how many people are going in the transfer portal, just because they want to seek new options. But for me personally, I really feel like the best, you know, the best things in life, you know, that you have to earn, and, and it's not going to be easy. So, if something is hard and something is blocking your way, you got to find another way around it, not just trying to go to a different avenue. Um, like I said, I've been here to support Tennessee, and they've supported me, and I want to do whatever I can to bring more and more wins because I feel like the fans deserve it most of all. I feel like the coaches have worked extremely hard, and obviously. Uh, the team that that has been here has worked even harder so my whole goal is to you know i came here to do something i came here to accomplish a task and that's to be you know a great tennessee basketball player and to be a winner and i'm going to continue that path and you know you just got to get used to everybody else moving around and, um, it's just college basketball now once the season ends you guys have one-on-one -on -one meetings with the coaching staff what are those meetings like and what was discussed with you um, it was, you know, it was really good. It was really positive. Um, we just had, you know, a, pretty much one of the best seasons of Tennessee history. And it, it's kind of surreal to say that um, because, you know, in the moment you're just thinking about the next game. But once it all settles down and it's all said and done, like you really have to think about what you've accomplished. And I think that's what we did in the meeting. Um, obviously, it was some things that they've asked of me moving forward and stepping into an even bigger role. Um, and you know, want to be able to fulfill that role and want to be able to do whatever I can to to maximize my potential in that role. Um, but I think everything that we discussed was positive, just trying to keep moving forward and trying to find that next step in this new chapter in Tennessee basketball. Jemai, I'm sure you've benefited in the past of having, you know, parents who have dealt with, you know, older brothers, visited across a, you know, college athletic school. But how much of an asset do you think they were in this current climate? Man, they were, you know, they were huge for me. They were huge. Um, they, they provided me with so much um, advice and, and, you know, certain gems that, you know, I couldn't get from anybody else because they're not in my inner circle. They know how much I've been going through. They know the, the different struggles I have. Um, they know how I'm adjusting to all this move and all this change. Um, but the information that they provided me with, not just this year out while it's happening, but when I was a, a child and growing up, um, it's, you know, it's really paid dividends to, to me right now because I'm using a lot of what they say to keep moving forward and keep, you know, trying to improve myself. Um, and like I said, they're just as new to this whole new college basketball thing as everybody else is. So they're, you know, reacting just as me, you know, uh, just like I am. And um, I think it's, you know, it comes as a surprise to everybody when people leave and people move and things change. But you got to roll with the punches, man. You can't do anything else. That's just it's just life and it's just how, how stuff is going to be moving forward. So you can either sit there and sulk about it or you can move on and, and move forward and, you know, become a better player. And I think that's what my parents have done a good job of providing me with that with that information. What do you really want to work on this offseason? What have you already started to work on as you get into workouts? Um, I think obviously shooting. I think shoot, shooting is a separator for everybody. You can never be too good of a shooter. So always, always working on shooting, always. Um, I feel like that's just – it, it provides so much to the game, and it really puts a lot of detail into what different options and different lineups you can use. Um, and I think also ball handling and finishing is going to be a, a big key for me too. Um, you know, being able to score the ball at a consistent basis, being able to score more um, with being being able to guard at the level that I'm guarding, um, which is I feel like is going to be the biggest thing for me. Um, 
obviously I know that I'm a, I'm a good defender um, and I want to become an even better defender. But if I can match my defending with my offensive ability, you know, it's no it's no telling how, how far I can go and how much I can bring this team. So, um, like I said, shooting is going to be the big one. But, you know, playing with pace, ball handling and finishing and, and really just upping my points per game, upping my, my scoring attempts and staying confident with my offensive game, man, it's going to go a long way with this team, trust me. What did you learn maybe from Dalton <coughs> about being a good shooter? Um, no, I, t I think he just he doesn't waver whether he misses or makes shots, and I think that's the biggest thing with DK. Um, he works on his game just like everybody else does, and um, but you know you got to have that confidence. You got to know that the next shot you shoot is going in. And I think that's the biggest thing that I saw from DK um, that he was really he, he didn't waver whether he was missing or making shots. So um, I think that's something that I can add and something that I'm going to continue to uh, help grow my, my offense again. He's, he's a great guy, man. He's a great guy. From talking to him, um, he really does care about winning. Truly, he cares about winning, and he wants to come here to do that exact thing. Um, obviously, it's going to be hard. It's going to be tough. It's a new, you know, he's in a new program, new system, new coaching, new teammates. Um, <laughs> but we're going to support him as much as we can and, and try to make it as easy of a fit a, as we can for him. Um, you know, we, we care about anybody that wants to give their all to Tennessee. And from talking to him, that's exactly what he wants to do. He's excited to come here and get better. He's excited to come here and, and start this new chapter. And hopefully we can get even better than we did last year. But he, he wants to win. He's made that known to me and, and the team. Jemai, cult culture has always been a big deal here with, as one of the seniors you know, at this time of year. How seriously do you take your role as kind of a gatekeeper when you guys are bringing in these visitors or potential you know, teammates to you know, look at them? You know, would they be a fit you know, and, and communicate that to the coaches? I mean, it's, it's huge, it's huge. I think that's, that's probably one of the most underrated things as part of recruiting. Um, it's not just about getting who, whoever had the most points per game or getting whoever had the most rebounds. That in, in this day and age, when you see the teams that are winning, it's about character one, it's about how they fit with the team, and it's about you know what they wanna do when they're on the floor, um, how unselfish they are, how, how much they play for other players. You can get the, you know, the best players in the country and put them on one team and it wouldn't work just because one, there's only one ball and two, everybody has their own egos. Everybody has, wants to have their own success and not everybody's thinking about the team. But if we bring in players that have character, guys that want to win, guys that care about this program and this fan base truly, it's, gonna, it's always going to work out and it's always going to fit. Um, so um, that's the main thing that I look at when I'm looking at players and I'm you know, talking to players and recruiting players and coaches ask me, what do I think about them? I'm going to be honest. I'm going to be, you know, straight up just so they know my opinion on it and how I feel like they would fit not only on the court but off the court because that's just as important. I think that's why last year our team was so good because we clicked off the court really well. So on the court it was just – it was very easy. So um, I think when it comes to recruiting, um, that's the one of the main things that I look at is, is character and just how much they care about winning and, and, and this program.